Hey everyone, welcome back to Returning to Basics. Today I want to talk to you about the best cheap turkey choke that you can get your hands on. I think you'll really be interested in the video. Hey, I have my turkey slayer before us right here. It's my old 1968 Remington 1100. In fact, when I got this gun, it had a fixed choke on it. It had a it did not have screw in chokes. It had a fixed full choke on it and that's fine. And that would be fine for Turkey, but I wanted the uh, ability to modify those things by putting in different chokes. I have an improved cylinder choke, a modified choke, and this choke right here that I'm going to share with you. I sent this gun off to a gunsmith and I had it modified and it's been super for me. In fact, I'll show you here, right up here, uh, the Turkey that I killed last year. I'm gonna also show you the turkey that my buddy Bob killed. You know, Bob and I do a few videos together. We call them two old farts doing something like moving a duck blind or deer blind or, or putting out a food plot or whatever. We're two old university doctors who are retired and just regular guys now. And we're like all of you, we hunt, we fish, and we are enjoying life. But I wanted to share with you guys, it's, it's approaching turkey season in Arkansas and a lot of people are talking on the internet and in different forums about what's the best choke, what's the best constriction, what's the best, you know, whatever, and what can they go out and buy to get that next turkey. And I want to tell you a little secret. It's, it's probably going to surprise you guys, but it's, I, I just about bet you that it's the gospel truth. And that is the best turkey choke that you can get your hands on the best cheap one is probably the choke that you already own you say what do you mean this is a colonial arms extra full super steel that i bought to use many years ago for waterfowl hunting uh, this is a tremendous choke it's not a full it's an extra full but i let me tell you Last year, Bob killed a phenomenal turkey on our place up in the Ozarks, and he killed it with the plain old regular included screw-in full choke that came with his shotgun. Three years ago, I killed a nice large gobbler. I'm going to show you that here also up at our place with my brother's Mossberg Maverick 88 pump economy cheap shotgun with the included full choke in the gun. And last year, the one that I killed, I killed with this super steel extra full choke. Let me tell you, the choke is not the important thing when it comes to turkey hunting. The important thing is that you use the best choke that you have, like a full choke, or maybe many of you are like me and you're a waterfowl hunter and you already have a choke like this that is a super steel, something that you use to, it's, it's really tight constriction that you use to waterfowl or goose hunt. And it's a super choke. And you can use that choke as a turkey choke as well. The important thing is that you take it out and that you pattern your gun, that you understand where the pellets are going whenever you pull the trigger. That's the important thing, isn't it? It's important that we know where they're going anyway for safety, but it's important that we know that at 40 yards, I'm not going to be lethal on a turkey or at 40 yards with number five shot in turkey load, I am really going to put a lot of pellets out there and I'm going to put them on the head and the neck of that bird and I'm going to be effective in killing that bird. That's what's important. So my advice to you guys is go get you some, some targets, put them out there 40, 30, 20 yards, check your gun out, pattern it, use some of your different chokes. You'll probably find that that waterfowl choke or that full choke that came with your gun is an adequate choke. You know, they engineered and designed it to work really well with your gun from the factory the manufacturer did. And so it will probably be a good choke. Let me know what you do, what you've done. If you've just hunted with your plain old regular chokes that you have, I bet most turkeys are taken every year with those kinds of chokes. 
and not necessarily the other ones. I'm not against going out and buying a nice choke. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying though is on the cheap, on the budget, you can use a choke you probably already have. Help us push this out to ever more people by hitting the like button so that the YouTube algorithm will recognize that and send it to more people. That's how videos get pushed out to more people. Leave us a comment. Thanks for checking in on the channel. We really appreciate you guys. You're super subscribers. We love you and we appreciate you. Thanks. God bless you. Have a great day.